Welcome to the Dead Presidents Podcast. I am James J. Hamilton. And I'm stunning Steve Lincoln Douglas. And the electricity is in the air here at the special season finale of Presidential War. Presidential War. are here at presidential war you know presidential war we pick presidents against each other in various categories but here on the season finale the presidents wanted to go head to head in just one category that category who would win in a fight all the presidents will be fighting each other this is the presidential rumble this is it this is what all of these presidents have been working towards james they are fit and they are ready. It's the presidential rumble. You got 44 men coming into one ring, but only one will be proclaimed chief executive. That's right. You can feel the pulse of the capacity crowd here tonight. Let's go down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Presidential Rumble. Here we go, James. The two presidential superstars who drew numbers one and two will enter the ring, and every 60 seconds, another contestant will join the fray. Wonder who's the unlucky contestant who drew number one. I know who it is. How do you, how do you know? I got my sources. The presidents can only be eliminated by being thrown over the top rope with both feet hitting the floor. That's right, there's no pinfalls, no submissions here. Nothing like that. The last man standing will be proclaimed the chief executive. And he'll go on to face Joe Biden at WrestleMania. That's right. With the presidency on the line. The presidency on the line. Everybody looking forward to that. And now, introducing first, Tricky Dick, Richard Milhouse Nixon. How did you know Nixon was first? Nixon's manager got caught breaking into the office to try and fix the rumble draw, James. Trying to make himself last? That's right, and get this. Get this. He was slated for last. The manager wasted his time. And now, instead of being last, he's been forced to enter as the first contestant. A fitting penalty for despicable cheating right off the bat. Well, James, I'm going to say I think it was a smart move, just bad luck he got caught. Oh, yeah? Well, think you, think other, smart? You, you think He's other smart. managers weren't snooping around the office there? I saw him. Besides, it's better to be disqualified oh. than to lose. Great advice for the kids. Well, maybe Grant's manager was in there, but Grant didn't know anything about it. Well, perhaps. Yeah, Nixon's the mastermind behind all this cheating. I wonder who's he going to be up against uh, as number two here. Well, we're about to find out. Nixon has made his way to the ring. Introducing next, John Fitzgerald Kennedy! Ooh, JFK coming in. He looks fierce. The fans here really big into JFK. A fa- fan favorite. Whether or not he deserves it, James. Well, we're looking at a rematch in 1960 to start this battle off. Yes, indeed. Kennedy and Nixon do not like each other, and they are staring each other down. Looks like they're talking some trash. Uh, Chief Justice Marshall is the uh, referee here. It looks like he is... He's ready to get this thing started. There we go. It's off to the races. Kennedy 
Looks to be heading straight for Nixon, grappling up. Oh, a hard right from Kennedy. Nixon. Nixon now, in, look, he looks like he might be in some trouble. He's thrown off the ropes. And there's a, oh my goodness, a flying knee from Kennedy. Nixon down. Yeah. And Nixon, oh, Nixon is just hit Kennedy in the balls. What a low blow. I, I feel like that looked like a perfectly legal maneuver. Legal, James. but not coming from Nixon. That's just like him. Kennedy is down. Nixon is stomping him in the back. He, Kennedy's got a bad back, obviously. Well, Nixon is going straight for Nixon, it. Nixon, a very clever tactician, very James. He devious. is going to target that area. Kennedy, he's already looking. He well, uh, looks like uh, Kennedy's trying to get up. Nixon going for uh, another knee to the head. Kennedy's moved out of the way. He's My tripped Nixon goodness. up. Kennedy's back on top of him. He's laying into Nixon. This is a Nixon. I think he's this crawling is temporary. Away. Nixon crawling away, trying to hide in the corner. I feel like this has got to be a ruse, James. Well. Nixon's definitely got a ruse, some kind of ruse up his sleeve. He's going to need one because Kennedy's coming after him. Kennedy's getting him. He's got him in an arm bar. We'll see how long this lasts here. We're we're close to the third contestant entering the ring. And yep, we're gonna, the game could change in any direction. We got... Oh, my he's goodness. coming in next. We got Rutherford Hayes. Rutherford B. Hayes. One half of the Beardos. That's coming with, into uh, the ring. His tag team partner, Ben Harrison. But this is every man for himself tonight. That's right. He's not going to have the benefit of his tag team partner. That's but... right. They may team up if they get in the ring together. But we could very well see a battle of the Beardos here tonight. Hayes oh. coming in now. It looks like he's focusing on Kennedy. Yep, he pulls Kennedy off of Nixon. Hitting him in the midsection. Nixon... Just he's hanging Swirling back. away. He's letting Hayes do his dirty work for him. Nixon very cleverly recuperating strength as Kennedy yeah. and Hayes go head to head here. Hayes looks to he's, have the upper hand. I mean, he's he, got, is, he is a Civil War veteran. That's right. He's got Kennedy in a headlock now, and ooh, what a knee to the ribs! My, but we're good. What's you know, this? Another contestant coming into the oh ring. Oh my goodness. Look at this. We got Big Grover Cleveland on his Ooh. way to the ring. The Buffalo Executioner. He's weighing in at 260 pounds. This is a big, powerful man, James. We might just see him clean house here tonight. Oh. He comes right in. He grabs Nixon out of the corner. He throws him into the corner. He's beating him up. Oh, look at that big. knee. Look at that big knee from Grover Cleveland to Nixon. Nixon down in the corner. And Cleveland smashing him with his thigh. Just the massive thigh of Grover Cleveland. Straight to the face of Richard Nixon. And he is in trouble, James. Yep. Hayes and Kennedy trading blows on the other side of the ring. Kennedy looks in trouble as well. His back is hurting him. We've got another oh contestant. Oh my goodness, who do we got here? Oh, it's William Henry Harrison, the hero of Tippy Canoe. He's running into the ring. He wastes no time. Oh, he goes right up to Grover Cleveland. He's heading straight he for Cleveland. He hits him in the back. Oh, oh. It, Harrison appears to be he's seized by a coughing fist. This, do, this doesn't look good, James. And then he's been seized by Cleveland. He's thrown right out of the ring. My, my goodness. I don't believe Harrison it. William is Henry eliminated. Harrison. William Just Henry Harrison, as he no got in sooner did he get into the ring, he's chucked over the top by Big Grover Cleveland. That's got to be some kind of what record. What an unfortunate accident there. I don't some know. Some kind of record for brevity. Boy, he he went into a coughing fit. Well, he picked on the wrong man. He sure did. He was trying to prove his virility here tonight, and it did not play out in his favor. Meanwhile, we got four contestants in the ring going toted. Oh, and another we're about to have five. Who could it be? 
It's Woodrow Wilson. The academic academia could be running wild here tonight, oh, yeah. James. We'll see about that. As Wilson comes into the ring. Wilson. He comes in. An intellectual tactician. Well, He's it looks gonna... like Wilson and Nixon are broking a deal. And it looks they're going to double team Kennedy. Yeah. Hayes and Cleveland still going about it on the other side of the ring. Woodrow and, Wilson holding Kennedy in place while Nixon pummels him. And, oh my God, what a shot to the chest. Did you see that chop? Wow. I can feel it from here. Kennedy is in trouble. Nixon hammering away. Oh, Kennedy is ducked and Nixon hit Woodrow Wilson right in the oh face. Oh my God, he didn't just hit him. He broke him. Nixon, it... it I just, I don't believe it. Woodrow Wilson taking a full force blow to the face. And Kennedy with a spear. Nixon's on the ground. Kennedy rolls out. All three men down. Meanwhile, Wilson. we got, we got Andrew Jackson oh coming into the ring. Oh my God, it's old Hickory himself. He's coming into the ring and he is a man possessed. I wouldn't want to get in his way. No, nobody would want to get into his way. We got three men down in the ring. Hayes and Cleveland duking it out. Jackson straight up to Cleveland. The trail of tears. It's he the trail got him. of tears. That's his finishing maneuver, My ladies and God. gentlemen. God, and Hayes is trying to duke out with Jackson. Trial of tears. <laughs> he got them both. Oh, man. Hayes and Cleveland are down. If this was a regular match, they could both be pinned. Jackson's, Jackson's trying to take on Wilson and Nixon and Kennedy all at the same time. All three men hurt. They're trying Jackson, to pummel him. He could be cleaning house here, but they're trying to gang up on him. Nixon, Kennedy actually working side by side here just he's to... taking it from all three of them. Just he's got to a, try and he's got a bullet in his off. chest. That's right, Andrew Jackson's got a bullet next to his heart. And, and we got Zachary Taylor Zachary coming Taylor, into the ring. Zachary Taylor, another general coming into the he's, ring, and he's running full force straight to Jackson. He's going to gang up Jackson, getting t teamed on all sides now. Zachary Taylor billed as the wig Andrew Jackson, and he's trying to claim the crown of the best general president right here. Right now, he and Jackson trading blows. They don't take crap from anybody, and they're not going to take it from each other. No, it looks like they've moved off, and Got Grover Wilson Cleveland. and Nixon now look to be teaming up on Kennedy here. Once again, Cleveland, Cleveland. slowly getting up, Cleveland recovering and from that trail of tears. Jackson running into the ring like a man possessed. And now we got He's several great... Contestants duking it out, and another entry coming up. It's Thomas and Jefferson. It's Thomas Jefferson. Here he comes. And he is looking determined. He's heading over to. Looks like he's avoiding the big men. He's heading he straight over wanna... towards Wilson, Kennedy, and Nixon. Yeah, he doesn't want any part of those generals. No, he he's certainly go doesn't. After fellow academic. Wilson, show That's him, it. Show him the, some true intellectualism. That's right. Jefferson taking hold of Wilson. Now, Wilson, it looks like his nose is broken, James. That yeah. shot from Nixon earlier in the match. I think Jefferson's, that about spelled uh, his end. Jefferson's got Wilson in a headlock. He's going to get blood all over himself there. That's right. He doesn't seem to care. It's not looking too good. All he cares about is victory. He looks... He looks like he's setting Wilson up for his own finishing maneuver. Oh, my That's goodness. Right. Could it be possible? Jefferson just gave him the declaration. Oh, my Wilson God. I don't believe down. it. Wilson is... He might he as well be out of this thing. But look who we have coming. On him. Here comes Millard Fillmore. Millard Fillmore coming down to the ring. What, Zachary what's, Taylor. What's Fillmore doing? He's climbing to the top rope. He's up to the top rope. Oh, my God. It's a Mason Dixon line off the top rope to Zachary Taylor. Oh. And Fillmore standing triumphant. Jackson now, he looks like they gave each other a high five. They're going to temporarily go at it together. No. Jackson, he's turned. He's kicking on Fillmore. Fillmore after that egregious maneuver off the top rope. Now Jackson turning on him. He's taking a boot to the hips. He is in pain. He's doubled over. 
And that's going to bring us to the next entry. Who do we got coming to the ring it's now? It's John Adams. There he is, John, John Adams. Adams. Coming into the ring. He goes straight for Thomas Jefferson. Yep. He's They're not, storming he's over to Jefferson. Getting payback for 1800 Jefferson he comes up standing him. triumphant over Wilson. Now he's got a slobber knocker on his hands. He's two training blows. I mean, he's got the, the reach tall, advantage, but... The Adams tall and lanky Jefferson against the short and stocky bulldog They're that is John Adams. Trading a vicious correspondence of fists here tonight. Grover, oh, Grover Cleveland is big. He's coming up behind. Nixon and Kennedy are still going at it, but they don't see Grover Cleveland coming up. He grabs both of them in a double headlock. Oh, my goodness. Cleveland has Hayes down. Now he's focused on... Nixon and Kennedy. And this could spell trouble for these two. Cleveland has both Kennedy and Nixon now in a very precarious position. But they're over. He's got him. Grover Cleveland. He's eliminated them both. Kennedy and Nixon have been eliminated by big wow. Grover Cleveland. What an amazing turn of events here. Woodrow Wilson struggling to get up here. Andrew Jackson is just, he threw, oh, he just threw Wilson right out of the ring. He almost God. landed in the first row there. Wilson could have hurt some people. We're hoping to see Wilson get to use his finishing mover, the 15th point, but he is not going to get the not chance tonight. Not tonight, and here comes Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover, the next. He's coming in, he's ready in to go. He, He's going after Rutherford Hayes. Rutherford Hayes isolated in the corner of the ring. Adams and Jefferson still going to toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Jackson and Cleveland now joining together. And Taylor and Fillmore duking Taylor it out is, together. Ooh, Taylor's got Fillmore down. He's letting Taylor him know what he thinks. Taylor seems to be in control here. Fillmore not happy about the his right treatment general. as vice president or... In this match. That's right, but Fillmore not in the physical condition of Zachary Taylor, James. Nope. And he is in trouble here right now. And, ooh, Andrew Jackson has taken a lot of punishment from Grover Cleveland. Big Grover Cleveland. What's it going to take to get him out Jackson, of the ring, James? I think that we're going to have to have he, some... He could win this thing. He could win this thing. Anything we're going to have to have some people double happen. up on him. We got the next contestant entering the ring now. It's Ulysses S. Grant, Ooh. another general he coming is, into the ring. And look at him go. He's going straight for Jackson. Now he's going for Taylor. Grant hammering at Jackson and Taylor. Phil Warren we'll Cleveland see. taking a couple steps back to recover as Grant going toe-to-toe -to -toe with and forth. these three generals here now. Let's see who is the best general here. Grant not taking any flack from anybody. No, certainly not Zachary Taylor. Time. Zachary Taylor, Grant superior in Mexico, but Grant is looking superior here. Ooh. And Andrew Jackson trying to hold his own. Oh, and it looks like Taylor and Jackson working together now. Well, trying to curb Grant. That's the thing with the Royal Rumble. You got fresh presidents coming in every 60 seconds. Some Adams, of these guys, oh, speaking of which, who do we got now? It's Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, wow. Another, another got, general. He's charging he's, into the ring. Wow. And my God, There's all four, four of them. Generals. All four of them trading blows now. You Unbelievable. John Adams is trying to push Jefferson over the top rope. Jefferson's hanging on. He's not going to get him out here. That's right. Cleveland, he's had a second to hang on. He's coming over now to join the fray. And he scoop slammed Adams. Ooh. Now he's got Jefferson. He's he's bent him down now and a big knee to the forehead of Jefferson. Grover Cleveland still looking dominant here. Millard Fillmore, he just came up behind Hoover. Pulled him off of Rutherford B. Hayes. Hoover's not looking too good in there. No, no, Hoover certainly not in. for a fresh man in the ring. No. Nope. He was trying to get at Hayes. Hayes with some very good counters here. Rutherford Hayes, Hayes. not to be trifled with. One half of the Beardos, and here we got another entry coming to the ring. Monroe. Oh, and this is a good sign for Jefferson. It's James, James Monroe. Monroe, and he's heading straight in towards John Adams. 
John Adams is in serious trouble now. As you got the big man Grover Cleveland, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams all going at it head to head. Cleveland was in command there. Monroe smashing at the back of his neck from behind trying to level the big man. It stunned him. It didn't put him down. And now oh. he's trying to recuperate with Jefferson. Ooh, Adams They're going to turn on Adams. They've got Adams down. They are stomping him. Oh, the he two, is. They're John both Adams in a stupendous amount of trouble. They're both over six feet. Adams is, uh, you know, he... He is a stocky 5'6", I believe. And he is down. He's rolling around trying to get out of there. This could Meanwhile, be bad for him. Cleveland recovering Rutherford, his strength. He's walking over towards Fillmore and over. Rutherford B. Hayes looks to be teaming up with Grant, his commanding officer. They both got beards. And we... Uh-oh. Who's coming in next? It is Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, my he goodness. Run, he is dashing it's into the ring. Theodore Look, Rex. He's, Look at that club. He's got oh a big God. stick with him. He comes in. He can't carry that into the ring. It's not regulation. Oh, my we God. we got other my, presidents my are scrambling Everybody's to get out of the way. Everybody's clearing out of the way. Teddy Roosevelt, he's they're swinging going, that stick. They're going out of the ring under the ropes, not eliminated, but they are Looks getting Looks like everybody's cleared out of the ring here. T.R. holding Chief, that big stick Chief up in the Chief Justice the Marshall is in there telling him he's got to put that stick down. And Teddy Roosevelt, you'll mm. notice, quiet as a church mouse, James. Well, he lets his fist do the talking. Unlike this capacity crowd here tonight that Marsh is loving okay. every moment of this presidential rumble. Chief Justice Marshall has got that stick away. The other presidents the presidential are getting superstars, back in the ring. Albeit cautiously, they're coming back into the ring. But what's this, James? Uh -oh. Look at this. The refs are telling Hoover he's eliminated. They're saying Hoover. that he's been eliminated. He we went out over the top rope. We're, We're going to have to check re this instant replay now. That replay there. He went off the he, top he rope. He dove over the top rope. Hoover totally eliminated himself. Unforced. And meanwhile, after all that action, look who's coming to the ring. I could, I felt the shock Just waves as like we were talking. like in real life, he is following It's William TR. Howard Taft William coming Howard to Taft. the ring. And this man, he is, he is three definitely a big contender. Pounds. He is the heaviest president by far. He has got 80 pounds on Cleveland. That's right. He's coming up straight for Roosevelt. But what's this? Millard Fillmore, he's trying to come for Roosevelt from behind. Oh, my God. What an epic fail. And Roosevelt has chucked Millard Fillmore right. over the top Oh, rope. man. And now he's going to Taft. The two big men trading blows. He was his chosen successor, but they are no longer friends. And TR is pummeling Taft. But what an Taft is absorbing matchup. those blows. His only got, hope is to wear him down. Uh -oh. And my God, we've already got another entry. He, Who could it possibly Hayes. be? It's, it's the little Martin magician. Buren. It's the little magician. He's coming to bail Jackson out. Jackson yeah, Hayes, in some trouble with Hayes these and other Grant generals. Have Jackson up on the ropes. Ben Buren comes out. He hits. Well, he just hit Grant right in the back of the head. They are going at it, certainly. Oh, look at all these generals in here. Something has got to get Taylor, Eisenhower, Hayes, Grant. All Looks of like these men. Jackson just grabbed Rutherford B. Hayes by the beard. He just whipped him right out of oh the ring by the beard. Oh, my God. Just thrown out by the beard. Unbelievable. I don't really? believe it. And what's what's this? I don't believe this. This is Ben Harrison. Ben Harrison's in the ring. He's hammering on Jackson. He's not even a contest. He, he, he might he be disqualified. He's trying to defend his tag team partner. Rutherford there he is. He, he, he dove out Chief of the ring. Chief Justice Marshall's ben Harrison. Him. He'll come back in here ben a little Harrison bit later if he's not Hayes disqualified. Back. Back out of the ring. My God, what a turn of events. And we got another entry already. It's Ronald Reagan. Here he comes. The great Ronald communicator Reagan, coming the in. Great communicator. Who is he going to size use his up? Words, but his fists. He seems to be eyeing everybody up. And he's going to join the fray over with Jefferson, Monroe, Adams, and Cleveland. We got great battles Adams all over the ring shape. here. 
Reagan going toe to toe with Cleveland right now. And look, oh man, Monroe and Jefferson, they have got John Adams tied up. He is barely standing. I think that oh, they just threw him out of there. There he goes. John, John Adams. Adams is gone. The Jeffersonian Republicans double teaming him. He had no chance. And they're recuperating the in the party corner no now. Longer represented in the ring. We got this continuous action going got, on. It's hard to it, focus on. Just when you thought there weren't enough Jeffersonian oh Republicans, we got goodness. James Madison. James Madison comes and he avoids the fray and goes he straight is only over. Five foot four, one hundred pounds. But he is a squirrely He's one. Feisty. And he Looks is like going gonna, straight over to Jefferson, Monroe, and Madison. I think these three could pose a threat here. But You're who are they going to target? supposed to be every man for himself, but you think Madison and Monroe are, you know, they're looking out for their boy Jefferson. That's it. it at least for the time being, James. And who are they going to target here? It looks like they're taking their good old time. We got just Jackson and Van Buren going head-to-head. With Grant, Eisenhower, and Taylor, Taft, and Roosevelt still slugging it out. Cleveland, the winded Grover, Cleveland, and Reagan. Now, Reagan with a big slap across the mouth. Wow. I think that changed Grover Cleveland's mind in a hurry about being here tonight. Well, he's still punching away. Grover Cleveland has been in this ring longer than anybody, I think. But... That's right. And here comes another contestant. It's John Tyler, the man without a party. He's just going to ta- he's going to go after everybody. He's trying to go after everybody in the ring. And it looks like everyone's coming right back at him. That's it. To he's Tyler it's it not from gonna... the Democrats. No, he's it's not going it to work the well. Wigs. Tyler tries to come in. Full steam and cut off quick. Tyler and Taylor now have broken off into their own little battle. Oh, I'd see Taft and Cleveland are about to go head to head. That is that's it. Six hundred pounds of fury right there. Cleveland with a solid reversal, a high forearm to the forehead of Ronald Reagan, put him down, and now. Teddy Roosevelt just grabbed John Tyler by the back of the head, turned him around, and put one right between his eyes. Tyler is on his knees. And I can't see him coming back from that, James. TR, no gratitude for the Tyler precedent. Certainly not. And here comes another entry. It's Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter running into the ring. He could win it here, James. Oh, yeah. That's about as likely as seeing James Buchanan Jr., some serious action going on here now. Jimmy Carter has joined the fray, and him and Tyler appear to be having it out together at one end of the ring here. Everyone's staying away from Cleveland and Taft. Those That's two, right. Two mastodons going head to head. Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt trying to catch a breather in the corner of the ring here. He's been through some serious punishment. I think he's. But speaking of serious punishment, Grover Cleveland has been in here for an awful long time, James. Yeah, Taft is wearing him out. Cleveland looks like he can he's barely standing up here. Taft Oh, Taft just splashed him into the into the corner. Unbelievable. Can you imagine the force? I'm glad I'm not envious of Grover Cleveland right now. No, certainly not. And who do we got coming? Oh my god, it's the rail splitter! Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. He is Honest lean Abe. and mean, and he is looking fierce. Abe Lincoln entering the ring now. My, there goes Carter. There goes Tyler. My oh, he, God. Lincoln. He threw both of them out of the ring like and they now, were made of paper. The, now Grant and Lincoln, they're teaming up. What are they going to do? They're, they've locked arms, and here they go. My God, I don't Double believe close line. it. Jackson and Van Buren are eliminated. Jackson and Van Buren, two favorites. Lincoln and Grant just just... put them over the top rope with a joint clothesline. I don't believe it. Now they're turning their attention towards Taylor and Eisenhower. I don't believe it. The coalition here still having their way with Reagan, who's hanging in there as best he can. Uh Cleveland winded. Roosevelt coming back towards Taft. 
Teddy Roosevelt looks like he wants to take on Jefferson and Monroe all at the same. Oh, who do we got coming in now? It's Benjamin Harrison. It's he was ben not Harrison. disqualified. Benjamin Harrison He's now here in the he ring. comes. My, right. oh my God, a flying headbutt. Grover Cleveland is over the cool. top rope. He eliminated Grover Cleveland. That's the That's, end of him. Unbelievable. It's be a familiar, ben Harrison a familiar avenging feeling. his tag team partner. Grover Cleveland, he hung on for a long time. But Ben Harrison Monroe. now joining with the other two big men in the ring, Taft and Roosevelt. The three men trading blows. Harrison, the fresh man. Ron Reagan, he's taking some punishment. Monroe's teaming up on him. Yeah, with Reagan. Jefferson. Somebody is. Somebody's got to help Reagan here if he has any hopes to survive this This is this supposed rumble. to be every man for himself. I don't think these three Jeffersonian Republicans should be allowed to team up like this. Well, they're and you know what? what? Teddy Roosevelt do. looks like he's not too happy about it either. No. He, no. My, Lincoln. Look at this. T.R. and Lincoln are forming an alliance. Here they come. They. Teddy just punched Jefferson in the face. Monroe has been thrown out and James Madison is all by himself with Look Teddy out. Roosevelt. Oh, man. Teddy Roosevelt just... He Madison. threw Madison into the crowd. He just went right over. Our, he about decapitated us. I he don't was, believe I, he's about in the fifth or sixth row, James Madison. TR threw him right over the announcer's the table. Unbelievable. We met... And Lyndon Johnson, meanwhile, is coming into the ring. We miss Lyndon Johnson coming to the ring because James Madison just about decapitated the both of us. Lyndon Johnson's only half an inch shorter than Lincoln. We got some unbelievable Johnson heading towards Lincoln. Now the two tallest men in this thing. Now they're squaring up. And Tr, he's not done over here. He looks to be focusing on Monroe Jefferson. Has managed to Ronald Reagan's giving take him, himself helping him away. out too. Two different uh, Republican parties here. Reagan the trying to recuperate some strength, much needed. Who's coming in here next? It's Grover Cleveland again. Grover Cleveland with he's his... scarcely rising. <laughs> he gets a second non-consecutive entry I into the rumble. Be- I don't believe it, Grover. I don't know Cleveland. how that's allowed. But looks, Grover Cleveland is coming terrible. back into the ring. Here he, he comes. Is and Ben Harrison sees him. Another flying in, but my God, they both going over the top. Harrison eliminated himself. Harrison, he's he's eliminated. He doesn't realize he's, it. Look, he's trying to get back in there. The ref's trying Chief, to stop him. Chief Justice Marshall's pulled him he's away. He's right in there. And Harrison, Harrison is pissed. He has eliminated gone. himself, took Cleveland with him. My goodness, Grover Cleveland with his second attempt. Two Taft, non-consecutive ooh. terms. Taft looks two winded Two non-consecutive there. rumble entries. Now Taft, Reagan catching a breather. Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Monroe having at it. Roosevelt exchanging blows with both he's of these. He's taking a lot of punishment, but he's dissing it out. Meanwhile, you got these. You still have Eisenhower, Grant, and Taylor. Johnson, Lincoln, all over there, and now who do we got next? It's the Tennessee Taylor. Andy Johnson. Andy Johnson, he's... He's stumbling towards the ring. He looks to be staggering a little bit. I, uh, looks like there may be something wrong with him. I'm not quite... He, he's walking to the ring, if you could call it that. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what what What's is going doing? on here. Johnson, he looks in no condition to be in... The ring. Who let him in here? Who I don't understand. There's going to be some follow-up he investigation to this. To be Johnson inebriated. He's making his way into the ring now, and what's he doing here? It's not. This is very. Like he's odd. trying to give some kind of. Speech. It looks like he's he's, he's trying even... to address the crowd. Nobody can hear him. He's not mic'd. This isn't a promo. Andrew Johnson. He, he he Lincoln has grabbed him by the back of his pants and he threw him right out of the ring. My rig. God, what Lincoln a, is not standing for that a embarrassment. Serious error of judgment on the part of Andrew Johnson. Lincoln would have and would have like, wished it was that Hannibal waste Hamlin of time instead. From Andrew Johnson, we already got. Oh, it's Silent Cow. Calvin Coolidge coming to the ring. He's sneaking into the ring. Known to be silent but violent. Here he comes. And he's going to take on some of these winded generals over here. He's going for Taylor and Eisenhower and Grant. Johnson's still trying to 
hang in there against all these men. What John. an epic rumble we have had That's thus Lyndon far. Lyndon Johnson, he's a big man. He got he's oh Johnson just put a body slam on Ulysses Grant. And that looked to but have hurt. Taylor He knocked the wind out of him there. Big Johnson, he's six foot four. Meanwhile, Grant is crawled up. He is tripped Johnson. He's got him by the leg. What he, He's putting some kind of... He's got Johnson in a submission move. What is that? Is, that's the... Oh, uh, that is the, it's the unconditional surrender. That's right. Johnson is in a lot of pain. He would look to be tapping out, but those, you can't tap out of the you Royal Rumble. You can't tap out of the Royal Rumble. And Grant, he is it, it looks... This is a there. wearing down tactic, and that Johnson's legs are being crippled right now. And speaking of crippled legs, our next contestant is... Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That's right, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Eleanor is wheeling him towards the ring. That's right, after his match last April against Marco Polio, leaving him in a bad state, being wheeled to the ring by the lovely Eleanor. Looks like FDR is... He kind of... Eleanor helps him up. He crawls into the ring. Then she is lifting his wheelchair... Into the, he's just gonna sit there in a wheelchair. Look, at, that's right. The other presidential superstars don't quite know what to make of it here. They are pretty busy. They're leaving him alone at the moment. Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt are. Oh, going. and they they have Monroe and quite a bond. There goes Monroe. And they turn around. They got Jefferson too. Jefferson goes over the top oh rope. Oh my goodness! The what Jeffersonian a change of Republicans have been eliminated. Lincoln and T.R. See who the really real Republicans house are. Here. The FDR you know. still just kind of seated, and here come oh here comes Harry Truman. Harry Truman coming to the ring, a man determined to prove himself here. And he goes he goes straight for he, FDR. What's he doing? He did not appreciate being left in the dark. My goodness, I don't and believe it. He smacked him out of the chair. FDR's on the <laughs> he's ground. He's laying down. He's crawling. He's trying the... to. He's trying to crawl away. Truman's climbing to the top rope. What's he gonna do? Oh my God! My God! It's he... the atomic drop. FDR was just crushed by an atomic drop. Eleanor. Eleanor, she she Eleanor needs to needs... throw in the towel. She's. This is inhuman. She's hanging on to that towel. This is inhuman. She, be... she needs to throw in the towel. Truman's climbing up again. I don't believe it. What? Eleanor, He's stop get, this! Stop this! A second oh consecutive God. atomic drop. He's killed him. That's overkill. Steve. That is overkill. Two I atomic drops. That's more FDR than any man is can Unconscious take. on the ring. Meanwhile, he is completely done. Chester Arthur is coming into the ring. He's a big man. Oh, he is looking suave Six too. Six two, two hundred and twenty-four pounds. And, one of the bigger presidents and looking good. And he's going to go Frank right after Roosevelt. the only man bigger than himself, William Howard Taft. That's right, here he comes, and oh my goodness, what a forearm to the bridge of the nose of William Howard Taft, and I, I think that might have broke his nose. Well, Taft is looking pretty winded in there. He is not looking he too good here. Reagan man, catching but... a lucky break in the action as Arthur going straight for Taft. Looks the like big TR man. And... TR and Lincoln are joining him. Oh, Taft is getting it would... from. A, they've got him by both. All three of them are lifting Taft. He's teetering they... on the rope now. That's and a he there he over. goes. There he goes, William Howard Taft. Taft has gone over. He's done. And the three men. They, it looks like they all need to take a breather after dumping. Well, that they're not going to. The they're ring. gonna need a breather because. The... Oh Who's coming to the my ring next? goodness! It's the man himself. It's George Washington, and look at he him. He could, he's he could win this thing. Look at how he's dignified, in, dignified. He looks coming to the ring. He's, he's not in time. a hurry. He is coming in, ready well, to kill. Harry Truman is lifting an unconscious Franklin Roosevelt off the mat, carrying him over the ropes and dumping him over. Meanwhile, FDR has been eliminated. Meanwhile, Arthur's picked up Roosevelt's chair, and my God, he's hit Taylor in the head with it. Taylor, 
on the receiving end of a wheelchair to the head from Chester Arthur, and there's another, oh my God, that sent him over the top rope, and Arthur throws the wheelchair out. I, He's raising his hands in I victory. I thought Arthur had left his dirty tactics behind in New well, York. Well, certainly but... not in this case. Now Washington coming in there, squaring up with Arthur. Eisenhower yeah. joining into the fray. Grant George, trying to catch his breath. George H.W. Bush is making his way to the ring as well. Washington is, he's, oh, Washington ready to clean house. He just, Le- he leveled massive, Dwight Eisenhower. Just a massive <clears throat> blow to Dwight Eisenhower. And now a big boot Eisenhower. to the midsection of Arthur. Both of them are down. Grant. Washington now. He's looking at Grant. Grant's looking wounded. He's Here comes Washington. Again. He picks him up. My God. He threw him right. That was the farewell address. The farewell address. That was his finishing Delivered move. Delivered to Ulysses S. Grant, Grant went won. right over the top rope Unbelievable there. Unbelievable action Say here. Say farewell to and him. And now Washington turning his attention over towards LBJ and Lincoln, the three tallest men in this thing. Here comes Bill Clinton. You got Bush over there trying to help Reagan against Harry Truman. Well, Clinton, Clinton's come up behind Bush. FDR still paralyzed at the side of the ring. (laughs) Eleanor needs to get him out of there. He needs medical attention. That's right. Bill Clinton is joined in to help bail out Harry Truman. The two of those Democrats going after Reagan and Bush... You've got a great battle here. Reagan and Bush against Truman struggle. and Clinton. Meanwhile, Reagan is Roosevelt, Lincoln, Johnson, and Washington heavyweights all duking it out. Pummeling each other. In it the looks... corner, Lyndon Johnson, you got to give him credit for hanging in there as long as you Also, as du- can. I don't know how Dwight Eisenhower is still hanging That's in there. That's right. He's uh, staggering. Arthur has him in, in a bad place, but what's this? Here comes Calvin Coolidge. Mark, it's the silent but violent suplex right over the top rope and Dwight D. Eisenhower's gone. He's been eliminated. Next, Next we got can, another entry James coming Garfield in. James Garfield is oh, coming into the goodness, ring. Oh my goodness, it's James Garfield and this man is fit and determined. Here he comes. He's a big man. Looks like he's... He's coming straight again with Arthur against Coolidge. He's here. teaming up with his former vice president Arthur, and Coolidge is getting whipped into the corner. He's in some serious trouble. Coolidge, not a big man. You got Arthur and Garfield. Garfield propels Arthur into Coolidge. He oh crumples my to the mat. Goodness, I've never seen a man so flattened. They pick. They pick him up, and Coolidge is going out. There he goes. Arthur and He's Garfield. Just dumped out of the ring. Arthur and Garfield to... give each other a high five, and they eye up who next they can target. And it looks like they're going to go for the weakened LBJ. He's in this fray over here with Washington, Lincoln, and Roosevelt. But, oh my goodness, he's blindsided. He's, he's completely over the top rope. Just blindsided. Here By comes clo- joint clothesline. John Quincy Adams is making his way to the ring. Here he comes. Could he avenge his wow. father? Adams well, stocky but mean. Looks like Bill Clinton and George H.W. Bush are trading blows. Meanwhile, Ronald Reagan is barely hanging in there. Truman Truman just gave him the buck stop. Oh my goodness! The Reagan, buck stopper and I think Reagan just went out. That's the end of Reagan. That is it for him. Truman now. He's recuperating and he's going to join right back into the fray. He's heading towards George H.W. Bush. Trying to team up with Clinton. JQA now. He's measuring what he can do here. And you got Arthur and Garfield. Oh, here they come. They're going straight for JQA. The lone man. They're targeting the fresh body in the ring. George H.W. Bush getting t- tag teamed by Clinton and Truman, but here comes George W. Here Bush. Here comes George W., his son. He's coming in. He's hammering Clinton. He's hammering Truman. My God, the Bushes. The they two might Bushes. come back here. They've got... They just threw Clinton out. There goes Clinton. Unbelievable elimination. The Bush father and son team. 
Truman is gonna. Truman in some trouble. He's trying to get away. They oh, and they both stomped him as he's trying to crawl away. The Bush, the, the Bush, Bush is now the Bush dynasty. They got Harry tag Truman team. in quite a bind. Meanwhile, you got three titans duking it out blow for blow. Nobody seems to be taking advantage. Washington, here. Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt. I don't know. Teddy Roosevelt. Who's going to come I out on top there? Teddy Roosevelt longer. has been he getting is a, winded. He's taking a beating. You got the the Bush twins are picking up Harry Truman. They're going to clothesline Harry Truman right out of this My ring. My goodness, that is it. The buck stops here for Harry Truman. Yeah, unbelievable elimination on behalf of the Bushes, the father and son team. One head to head. Meanwhile, you got Arthur and Garfield. They're teaming up on JQA, and JQA, he's not able to assert himself in any fashion. He is having a hard time here. Kind of reminds me of his presidency. He came in with a lot of big plans. He is getting stymied. Making his way to the ring is Gerald Ford. Ooh, he is. He's our number one most athletic. He is the most athletic. He's the the all American Michigan alumni and he's ready to go he comes into the ring it looks like he might be uh teaming up with the bushes here and who were they gonna uh, go for it look well it looks like they're going they're going after the strongest men in the ring it looks like they're going after roosevelt lincoln and washington and they're gonna try and make their point here it's like Lincoln has just took George W. Bush by the throat. Meanwhile, Washington's got Bush Sr. by the throat. TR trading blows with Gerald Ford. An epic struggle here. That's right, but TR is looking winded here. He's, He's looking tired. He's taking a beating he from is Ford. In some serious trouble, as is JQA, with both Garfield and Arthur. Have him up. JQA, a relatively fresh man, but not looking he too good. He is small, and he could, cannot match the size of these two post-war Republicans. And they are going to... Arthur just picked up JQA, and he's gone. Wow. JQA has been thrown out. Did you see that, James? What a chuck. I did not like to stand in Arthur's way. No, these two powerhouses, wow. they might... They might clean up the ring got, here. Lincoln has got George W. Bush in a commit. He's got, he's setting him up. Oh, he just hit him with the rail splitter. Oh, my God. I didn't think we'd see the rail splitter here in the Royal Rumble, but we surely did. George and George w. 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 Bush is, is in deep to the ground. trouble. And his father is getting it from George Washington. That's right. He can't come to help him. And now we got another entry coming to the ring. It's James Buchanan. James Buchanan. Where is he going to go? He's going to bide his time. He's being wary of Arthur. And it, nope, they're not going to spare him. They're going straight for James Buchanan. They got Buchanan in a world of hurt. Oh, my God. What a forearm from Chester Arthur. Buchanan is down. He's crawling into the corner. He is in some... Deep trouble here. Garfield and Arthur both pressing on James Buchanan. George Still Washington. Still an epic struggle with Ford and Roosevelt. Washington hit. Oh, George H.W. Bush is in trouble. Washington has got. He's picking him up. Oh, he gave him a farewell address. My God, another farewell. farewell address. Well, W is barely conscious. Lincoln. He's trying to recover from that rail splitter, but he is not. Lincoln no, picks him up and just dumps it. him over the there top. There he goes, and now W goes bushes. out. James K. Polk oh, comes into the ring. It's the dark horse. James K. Polk laying into James Buchanan, who was on the ground after taking it from Arthur. Polk deviously taking advantage That's right, of the his dark secretary horse. of state. The devious tactics of the dark horse here. Looks like. Polk is staying away from some of these more <laughs> formidable. That's right. You got Lincoln and Washington. They're recuperating now. They're they're biding their time. Ford Teddy still Roosevelt. laying hard into Teddy he Roosevelt. It's covered unbelievable. In blood. He's still TR in the ring. 
is bloodied. I don't know how he's still standing. And it looks like no. maybe Arthur and Garfield <clears throat> might come over to aid Ford Let's in eliminating Teddy Roosevelt. We got another contestant, Barack Obama. Barack Obama's walking to the ring. Hey, here he comes. Coming up here. Wait, Whoa, what's, this? what's this? Donald Trump! WWE Donald, Hall of Famer Donald he Trump. He came out from the blog group. blindsided Barack Obama. Trump's Obama. not even in this thing. He's not even in this thing. And he's he's blindsided stopping about Barack Obama. Trump was Obama Trump taking disqual- boots to the head. Trump disqualified himself from this event. Obviously, Joe Biden awaits the winner at WrestleMania, but, but Trump, speaking will, of, speaking Trump which, will not here concede. Here comes Joe Biden. Trump would not concede that he is not the sitting president, so he could not qualify for this. But Joe Biden has come out of the locker room to aid Obama. Trump's running off. The two Obama's of them. hurt. Biden's chasing after Trump. My Trump God. Saying, what would, Trump ran. He disappeared in the locker room saying this whole thing's rigged. Well, he's Mark, entitled to his opinion, but that's not well, how we do we things know here, the truth here at the Presidential Wrestling Federation. That's right. Barack Obama, boy, he hadn't even made it to the ring yet. Pulling himself into the ring. Obama. Warren Harding coming in behind him. Yeah, and Obama scarcely made it into the ring, and here comes Warren Harding. Obama, Harding, getting into the ring at Warren about the Harding. same time. Harding, take, oh, he's taking advantage. Obama, he sees that he's hurt. Harding now, trying to lay into Barack Obama here. What an, uh, what an wow. injustice. James Buchanan, for this ooh, James Buchanan just threw James K. Polk into the corner. Polk scampering away, trying to avoid contact. James Buchanan coming up behind Warren Harding. He tapped him on the. Oh, he just hit him right below the belt, oh and he's gra- oh. oh my. Oh my goodness! James Buchanan has Warren Harding in a testicular claw. That is his. He that's known as the ten cent Jimmy. Oh He's twisting him. God, Jerry is taking a lot of punishment yeah, there. Jerry, he can dish it up, but he can't take it. Jerry, that is clear. Jerry, Warren of course, Harding is in a world the nickname, of hurt. Jerry, the nickname for Warren Harding's penis. He that's is in right. The, the vice-like grip of James Buchanan. He is in a world of hurt here, and that give, gives Obama the well, uh, the ability oh, to. Lincoln just try saw. Lincoln sees James K. Polk trying to hide. He has grabbed James K. Polk by the back of the mullet and whipped him over the oh, edge. Oh my goodness! What an easy wow. elimination. The well, rail splitter thing, tearing it up here. Lincoln for say for, can say for sure the spot that James K. Polk went out on is American soil. That's right. Lincoln, Washington, both observing from their respective corners. Lincoln has Lincoln has pulled James Buchanan off of Warren Harding and thrown him right out, getting revenge for the secession crisis. There he goes, Lincoln, snapping Lincoln into action quick. Is, it looked like he was observing oh. from the corner, and then before you could even snap your fingers, he was on Buchanan. We're down to our last couple of contestants. William McKinley is entering the ring. There is only one man left to go after McKinley. There, we've got a lot of guys left in the ring. This, anybody could win this thing. There are a lot of titans in here. Yeah, we got some big men in this ring. Oh, Warren Harding is not looking too good. He can barely stand up. Harding looks like... Barack Obama has recovered enough. He's grabbed Warren Harding. Laying into Harding. He can barely stand. And McKinley's coming in now. He's heading straight for Washington. Washington has been kind of sitting aside. Conserving his strength. And now McKinley and Washington going head to head. McKinley, he's a stout man. He's only 5'7", but he's about 200 pounds. He's about 200 pounds, James, in Washington. Washington's got the reach advantage on him. He sure he does, but McKinley's him. a stocky character, and he might be able to take a lot of punishment. And, well, we're seeing he could take some punishment here there as these two trade blows. Who's your wow. money on in this rumble, James? I don't know who to buy. I don't... I think it's got to come down to Lincoln or Washington. I wouldn't bet against either one of them. 
I want to say Teddy Roosevelt, but he is bloodied. He has he been is in there barely a long standing. time. He is, you know, Ford's bloody now, too, trying to go head-to-head with him. TR is taking so much punishment. It's a wonder Cat. he's still in there. It looks like Ford is going to team up with Arthur and Garfield, the three of them, trying to hold down TR. Looks like they're going to let Arthur get... Oh, we just gave a power bomb to Teddy Roosevelt. Oh my god. Teddy goodness. Roosevelt this could is spell the end. He is a broken man. He is and he's getting right back up. I don't know what he's doing. Arthur Arthur and Garfield have both him. have him. Now Garfield coming him. in. Forward backing off a little bit. And here he comes. This is the man who my money's on. It's fabulous Frankie Pierce, the best body in professional presidential wrestling. Well, he's lucky enough to Look get the last him. entry. My God, what a physique. What a tone. Look at him. Well, he's coming in Just here fresh. Just unbelievable. He's and one of he the only guys who into are it fresh. Totally fresh. Everybody else is locked up forward. He's hurt. He's trying to recover. Washington and McKinley are duking it out. You got Harding, Lincoln, and Obama going at it. Roosevelt, Garfield, and Arthur. Roosevelt trying to hang on. What is Pierce going to do here? Here he is. Just coming into the ring now. But looking good. He's ready to he give the feats of strength. He's choosing his next, his first victim. That's right. Who could his first victim be? And it looks like he's going to go over and help Lincoln against Harding and Obama. And Harding and Obama looking a little more weak for the wear. Lincoln is, he's taking some shots as well. He sure has. Uh Uh-oh, you got... Garfield and Arthur have their hands around TR's throat. They're picking him up. They're going to. TR has grabbed Arthur by oh the my, mutton chops. Oh my and goodness. Garfield by the beard. And he pulled him out with him. All three of them believe, go out of it. I don't believe in a triple elimination. If you're going to throw out TR, you're going with him. Oh. And that goes for Garfield and Arthur. A triple elimination here. Gerald Ford. Recovering in the corner. McKinley in Washington still going at it. Pierce now. He's heading over towards the wounded fort. Lincoln, Harding, Obama still in their corner. These are the final men in the ring. We're down to seven presidents here. What an epic rumble we've seen thus far. Harding looks... He's dazed. Obama just hit him and... Ooh. Obama has thrown Harding up against the ropes. He bounces back. He hit him with a clothesline. Harding is getting up slow. Obama's going to help him. And he's grabbing him. Oh, Harding is gone. Obama threw him out. But then Lincoln's coming up behind Obama. There he goes. There he goes. Lincoln. Lincoln. Saying I'm number one, the rail splitter, the boy. Here he goes. He is a powerhouse, all right, and he's going to head over towards the fresh Franklin Pierce. Lincoln not appreciative of some of the comments Franklin Pierce made during the Civil War. Oh, my goodness. He has Franklin Pierce by that beautiful head of hair, and what a hard right hand. Oh. Sent Franklin Pierce reeling in a clothesline. He's scooping Pierce up. Now off the ropes. Here's a big boot. A huge boot from Abraham Lincoln. And Pierce is down in the center of the ring. Lincoln looks to be in command. He's heading over towards McKinley in Washington. He's going to break up this fray and get himself involved. We're down to the final five here. Lincoln coming over now to McKinley in Washington. and they, they grabbed McKinley. There he goes. McKinley. McKinley is out. He's gone. And now Lincoln and Washington. Washington heading towards Ford. Lincoln heading towards Pierce. Gerald Ford, he gets up. He tries to scoop Washington over the top. No! He's caught himself. He's pulled himself under the legs of Gerald Ford. And a clothesline. Gerald Ford 
sent over the top rope. Some Meanwhile, Lincoln, Lincoln over towards Pierce. He's got him by the throat. He gives him a choke slam. Oh my goodness. Pierce is shattered on the on the on the mat. Lincoln grabs him up by the arm. And he whips him right over the top rope. Oh my it is, goodness. It is down to and Washington comes up behind Lincoln before he can recover and his he hits him in the back of the knee. Lincoln is on his knees. He's He's in some trouble up here. At Washington. It's these two these men. Two One of these titans. two men. Lincoln They've both and been in there a while. They've been taking a lot of punishment, and they are dishing it out Especially on each other right Lincoln. now. My God, the rail splitter. He's been in this thing for a spell, and he is still holding his own in there. A great wrestler. Washington gets him in a half Nelson. Punishment on that arm. Lincoln reverses. And now he's got Washington a full full Nelson. Oh, my God. I don't believe the de- the developments here. It, either one of these men could walk Both home with this thing. Both of these men showing a lot of technique despite their exhaustion. Which one of these men is going to go on to fight Joe Biden at WrestleMania? I don't know, but I wouldn't want to be Joe Biden in either case. He better no, hope that, that he, is the truth. He better hope Trump's right and this thing's rigged. Yeah. But if this royal... if this and what's going to become of the Donald Trump inserting himself into the fray here? I think he's going to be a chief he's shot. Probably going to be banned from competition for some time. That's right. It could lead to a serious suspension. Well, if this presidential rumble is fixed. Nobody told Washington or Lincoln because they are pounding on each That's other. That's it. These two monsters going head to head. Neither one at this point seems to have an advantage. They are still going toe to toe here. This is an unbelievable roll. I can't roll. believe either one of them is still standing. Yes, unreal. And there is Lincoln. He's he's down on one knee. Washington against the ropes. Here he comes. Lincoln d- jumps there down. Lincoln. Washington hops over him against the ropes again. Lincoln. Oh my God! A huge boot, and here it comes. Oh my God! A massive clothesline! Washington! He's been put over the top! Lincoln is the last man standing! It's the rail splitter! It's the rail splitter! He's done it! He's done it again! This isn't his first wrestling match, folks. My God, what an unbelievable turn of events! Abraham Lincoln, the champion here! At the Presidential Royal Rumble, and he will go on to fight Joe Biden at WrestleMania. And we're all looking forward to that. We're looking forward to the next episode of the Dead Presidents Podcast, where Abraham Lincoln will be the subject. That's right. We're going to learn all about this man, and that'll give you all the backstory you need for... The build up to his epic match with Joe Biden at WrestleMania. Yep. What an unbelievable rumble. Wow. The capacity crowd thrilled. They've grown they've been going wild this whole time. I can't believe it didn't affect our microphones, James. Well. That's the good technology we got. That's for sure. Is out background noise. And that's that's it. Abraham Lincoln, the champion. Of this, the first presidential Royal Rumble. And my God, look at the determination on his face. And he has been through the mill here tonight, really holding his own. Abraham Lincoln. Wow. My money was on him the whole time. My money was on fabulous Frankie Pierce because I knew that he was going to be the last ever. Well, I lost. You didn't count I on lost Lincoln. a good bit of money. Well, but Frankie Pierce, he's still the best body in wrestling. Yeah, Lincoln. Uh, well, Lincoln, a bit of a butterface. Yeah, I think uh, that Lincoln's he's got a formidable physique. Lincoln should go one on one with Pierce. I think it'd be a great match. Maybe, well, maybe perhaps Pierce is perhaps. more worthy than Joe Biden of holding the title. Well, 
Maybe Lincoln and Pierce can be a matchup at uh, SummerSlam. Indeed. That card is yet to be determined. We'll, That's right. We'll have to see what happens at WrestleMania. That's it. In the meantime, for the Dead Presidents Podcast, I'm Stunning Steve Lincoln Douglas. And I'm James J. Hamilton. This has been the first ever Presidential Royal Rumble. The season finale of Presidential War. We look forward to seeing you again with season two. And a lot more exciting action with your favorite presidential superstars. That's us. Thanks for listening.